Good morning and welcome to NYFP. This is your word from the floor for Thursday, August 25th, 2011. As we head into today's trading session, the major U.S. stock averages have turned mixed. The Dow, Nasdaq and S&P 500 all started out in positive territory, but both the Dow and the Nasdaq have dipped slightly below the flat line. U.S. initial jobless claims for the latest week rose more than expected, gaining by 5,000, coming in at 417,000. Now, partially, uh, the gain was uh, due to uh, the Verizon strike, which took place in the previous week. Also in today's trading session, Apple shares alongside Bank of America shares are in the spotlight. Now, starting out with Apple, CEO Steve Jobs announced his uh, resignation as CEO of Apple uh, late Wednesday. Now, as a result of that, we're seeing uh, shares of Apple lower by one and a half percent. Now, CEO uh, Tim Cook will be uh, assuming the duties of Jobs and Steve Jobs will remain as chairman of the board. And moving on to Bank of America, uh, shares of uh, the financial giant soared by as much as 24 percent right out of the gate. Now, that did come as Warren Buffett announced that he is buying a five billion dollar stake in Bank of America. Also, Berkshire Hathaway agreed to buy uh, 50,000 uh, shares of preferred stock in a private offering. And moving on to commodities, now we're seeing uh, crude oil extend weakness in today's trading session. Currently, uh, the front month uh, gold futures contract is down by nearly $24 at 1733.16 ounce. And uh, crude oil futures are higher by a quarter, currently trading at $85.41 uh, a barrel. Over in the foreign exchange market, the U.S. dollar is seeing mixed trading, slightly lower against the euro and higher against both the yen and the British pound. That does wrap it up for your word from the floor for Thursday, August 25, 2011. Thanks for watching and have a great day.